Three hours of sleep a night. Like, this shit is foul. Hi, right, welcome to Abu Dhabi to the Sheikh Zayed Brian Mosque. Make Arabia chicken. It has been delayed three hours. They're missing a part for the plane, like a light in the cockpit. They compensate us like six hundred dollars or something like that. Somebody give me, somebody give me the answer. Give me is it the answer? Give me is it? Maybe I'm telling myself that there ain't nothing that'll change that. Hold tight, hold tight. Hey. Super helicopter. It's beautiful. Whoopsie. The whole mission of last night was to get sleep. We got three hours of sleep again last night. <laughs> How? Why? Like literally, when I opened my Instagram this morning, it said message sent three hours ago. I'm like, bruh. Three hours of sleep a night? Like this shit is foul. Alright, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> We're about to roll out of this bed, it's about to be impeccable. Twenty minutes later. My money, my body, now your own. Shops, gift shops. My recommendations are for the shopping, Dubai is the best place. They are selling very expensive things here. But otherwise, if you have too much money, go for it. I don't mind. <laughs> so, this big dome on your left side is the new entrance. Welcome to Abu Dhabi to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I'm your guide. My name is Muhammad Tikba. You can easily find us on the TripAdvisor and get your guide. These are the best places you can find us easily. Yeah, and request you, right? Yes, you are most welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Chicken, big tasty, make Arabia chicken, make royal, little tasty, veggie deluxe, veggie surprise, mushroom chicken, smoky barbecue, apple McFist, mix shaker fries. Sorry.
interesting. Wow, look at their pastries. Later. Much later. All this food costs 237, which is 64 AD. And that was like two sushi rolls, edamame, watermelon, soup, a beer, and a water. So it's actually not that bad. This hasn't, this airline hasn't been as bad as we thought it was gonna be. We didn't. The next day. So, a day in Paris, part two. Let's see what this mall has stuff. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. I was like, are we at the right place? Ooh, I bet they got Starbucks. It is currently 11 a.m. and we're at this little mall. We checked our bags and then also there was like this like storage locker thing that you could do at the mall. I mean at the airport. Definitely always try to see if that's available if you don't know where to like store your stuff before a flight. So I did that and I just ordered some pasta. I literally could not understand the menu because it is French AF. But I'm hoping for the best. And our flight is at like 3 p.m. So we're just gonna like hang out at the mall until. So maybe I'll see something cool. Don't know. But I'm 10 out of 10 tired. And yeah, what's your update? My update is I'm happy I'm getting pasta and hopefully I can get some stuff to buy at this mall. We'll see. I feel like last time it was like perfect. Oh my and god. And now it's time to go home. Did you see the open um, 11 to 13? What? 15 minutes. What do you mean by that? For my food? Yes. For both, all of it? Or just mine? No. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. One more time? 15 minutes. Is that how long it will take to come out? On the drink. Is it possible now? 15 minutes. Not possible. <laughs> So you're saying the food will come out of the team or you'll put the order in the team? Literally, if the restaurant wasn't open, we sat down, ordered, struggled up the menu, overcame, and I was just saying that they're not open for another 15 minutes. Oh, she's doing Google Translate. Y'all, make pancakes. Look at the butt. That looks so good. I have to try the make pancakes. <laughs> Uh, Schmidt quesadilla. Do you know it's uh, mm -hmm. it's a fried or vegetarian here, like in America? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using 
this entire thing, so you need to get your own. That's <laughs> For real. I'm excited for this tea. Y'all, we were so tired that we decided to just come back to the airport. And hopefully, just like get on the plane ASAP so that we could go to sleep. If we got through security, got our bags back, we got notified that our plane has been delayed three hours. We have six hours to our flight. Two hours later. I'm not gonna believe this. Basically, I found out that they're missing a part for the plane, like a light in the cockpit. And so it has to come on another flight from somewhere else, like London or something. And it's not gonna be here till like 7.30, so they suspect that we'll leave around 8.30. Um, they gave us these little like food voucher things, they're like $30 worth of food, but it wasn't anything, anything great. I got some salad. But they said that they would, uh, if we called customer care, they would give us like compensate us like $600 or something like that, which is not exciting which they are absolutely playing about that money, let me tell you. And on top of that, this clip is Jess and one of the flight attendants. Like, you can tell by the flight attendant's mannerisms how rude she was being. She was complaining to us about not wanting to be there on Thanksgiving as if they celebrate that holiday, or we care. Did I mention the airport is closed? The airport is closed, so there's literally nothing open. Once Jess realized how wrong she was being treated, she wanted to record the interaction in which they threatened to literally call the police and then on our way bordering, they stopped and did this whole crazy search on her. I talk to your friend, please. Much later. Y'all, then to top off the bullshit, I came home to my water being off for a whole week. Y'all, this is ghetto. 10 out of 10 not recommended. Oh. <laughs> This is crazy. Mind you, this is the third time this has happened since I moved here. My motherfucking fault, man, I'm not to blame, man. This fucking industry is cut, though I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag, now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only